Uh, my name is Orlando Torres, and I'm one of the uh, Pulse nightclub survivors of the shooting of June 12, 2016. Timothy Stanley. Uh, I know Orlando from, unfortunately, after the Pulse. Today's world, with your McDonald's, Dunkin' Donuts, Walmart, look at your exit, because you hear a gunshot, don't think it's a one-on-one. -on -one. That's what happened that evening that many of my friends thought it was uh, between a couple of people. Mm -hmm. People ran into the restrooms and behind the bar. If they, if they would have known that gunman was there to take out everybody, they would have found a better way to exit out. When he had shot and somebody crawled underneath, um, knocked me and my friend off the toilet bowl, he walked around, I felt him touching my right rear pants pocket. And of course my heart rate started beating and I said, this is it. I expected my whole back to be riddled with bullets. Thank God uh, I didn't twitch or move. I just let him touch me, acted like if I was dead. And thank God he left me alone. We punched a hole where Orlando was. He came out to us, got easily six to eight shots off before we got anything off. And he walked out of smoke. It was just like a movie set and got the total jump on us. Um, we shot him. That's when we start hearing screams from Orlando's bathroom. Yeah, help, help. Uh, yeah. Uh, when they punched a hole, it knocked off the the flush pressure pipe. That, mm -hmm. So that was just water gushing down. My forehead was in the back of the toilet bowl. I was like, I couldn't breathe. I had to force my head to the right to gas for air to the left. They didn't know what was going on with that situation. Yeah. I didn't know that they punched a hole. Lucky the concrete landed on top of the toilet bowl. Lucky my body was below it. If not, I would have had my ribs crushed. I was pretty much numb three and a half hours laying and without having to twitch or move. It was just, mm. you know, and they were like, Orlando, push yourself up. Push yourself. I said, I can't, I can't. They said, come on, Orlando, push yourself up. I said, I can't because I was numbed. Uh, not that I don't know if they knew if I was shot or not, but... They were like trying to motivate me by saying, soldier, soldier, push yourself up. I remember those words clearly, and I'm like, no, I can't. So they grabbed my right arm and pulled me up from the floor. I'll explain <laughs> to soldier. James, this, this was such a traumatic event mm -hmm. that James went back to his military days of being in the Army overseas in Afghanistan, and James just clicked to his military training and started calling him our soldier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I didn't realize it until we met him at the fashion show, mm -hmm. and Orlando was the one that yelled out, Soldier. And as soon as he said that, I said, James, that's what you were screaming in the bathroom. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Crazy. He was, yeah. yeah. When we met Orlando, because we were all, we nobody could talk. FBI was involved in all this. But then we met Orlando at a fashion show, and it was just, like, breathtaking. It was a closure for James and I to finally talk to him, and we got... We found out what happened in the bathroom and what occurred. Mm -hmm. It was just a little bit of closure for us. It, well, it was very touching. Uh, I I was trying to express my thank you, but I was starting to break down. <laughs> you know, when somebody comes and rescues you, you know, you just don't know what to say. Yeah, I'm already feeling emotional just thinking about that now. Yep. Uh, I still go out to the nightclubs. Um, people say, how do you do that, knowing what you've been through? <laughs> and... Um, and I, you know, I tell people that our motto here in Orlando is keep dancing Orlando because if you don't, they win.